Welcome back to another episode of Quantum Computing. In this episode, I want to talk about Bloch Sphere, which is a physical representation of qubit in three-dimensional space. But we know that every two-state quantum system or a qubit can be represented by alpha ket zero plus beta ket one, but we know that uh, alpha and beta are uh, uh, complex numbers. So alpha and beta belongs to C and the magnitude of R square plus the magnitude of beta square equal to one. So we could represent alpha in polar coordinate by R1 e to the I phi one, which R1 is the magnitude of alpha. We could do the same with beta, which is equal to R2 e to the I phi two and R2 is the magnitude of beta. But we know that magnitude of alpha equal to R1, magnitude of beta equal to R2. So R1 square plus R2 square equal to 1. So we could let R1 equal to cosine of theta over 2 and R2 equal to sine of theta over 2. After substitution, we have alpha equal cosine of theta over 2 e to the i phi 1 and beta equal sine of theta over 2 e to the i phi 2. So if we substitute in the state psi, we have this representation. And if we factor out e to the i phi 1, we have this expression. But e to the i phi 1 don't have any effect on uh, measurement, so we could omit that. And we could represent phi to minus phi 1 by phi. So we have a vector in a sphere uh, which is called a block sphere, and this vector represents a quantum state, twisted quantum system. Uh, by just theta and phi. This is theta, the angle from uh, state and z coordinate, and this is phi, the projection is angle uh, from the x coordinate and the projection of a state to the xy plane. If you put theta equal to zero and phi equal to zero, We have cosine of zero uh, in z ket plus sine of zero e to the i zero one ket, but we know that cosine of uh, zero equal to one and sine of zero equal to zero, so the second term uh, vanished, and we only have zero state, which is a north pole in block, block sphere. If we put theta equal to pi and phi equal to zero, then we have this expression cosine of pi over two in zero plus sine of pi over two e to the i zero one. But we know that cosine of pi over two is equal to zero and sine of pi over two equal to one and e to the zero equal to one. So here we have south pole of the block sphere, which is a state one. If you put theta equal to pi over 2 and phi equal to 0, then we have cosine of pi over 4, 0 plus sine of pi over 4, e to the i 0, 1. We know that cosine and sine of pi over 4 is equal to 1 over square root of 2. And the state is superposition of 0 and 1, uh, which is 1 over square root of 2. 0 state plus 1 state, which we call it uh, plus state. If theta equal to pi over 2 and phi equal to pi, then we have cosine of pi over 4, 0 plus sine of pi over 4 e to the i pi, z 1, which cosine of pi over 4 and sine of pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2, 
but e to the i pi is equal to minus 1. So we have superposition of 0 and 1, but it is found with the square root of 2, 0, minus 1. And this is the state minus. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates. Leave any comments or questions below. See you in the next video.